Okay guys, Jessica again. Here is a few more helpful hints. When you're talking about the heart and how the heart pumps, and you're talking about depolarization and repolarization, it was getting a little confusing, and I of course have weird wacky ways of remembering things, so here is a helpful hint for you. Okay, so when you're talking about depolarization, depolarization, the first three letters is DP. DE stands for taking something away. P stands for potassium. So, if you think about it that way, DP, you're getting rid of your potassium. So during depolarization, your potassium moves out of the cell, and then your sodium that's outside of the cell moves in along with calcium. Calcium, in any circumstance when it comes in, causes contractions. So your potassium moves out, your sodium moves in, your calcium moves in, and that's what's causing your heart to contract. Repolarization, I think rest, or you're repeating, <laughs> you're repotassiuming, you're putting that potassium back in the cell. So during re-P, the potassium goes in, it kicks out the sodium and the calcium, and there's rest. There's no contraction. So hopefully that helps you remember. It took me a while to figure that out, but that is uh, a good way of remembering it. And I think that's all I have on that. Thanks.